Can I tell you what the most annoying thing ever is? It's when your microphone is not connected, so you don't get any audio, but you have awesome footage, and none of it is usable. We're gonna reenact our conversation from earlier. I was like, oh, uh, hey, we're gonna do some glassing on the back of a bulkhead. Uh, <laughs> uh, hey, Colin. Morning, David. Did you sleep all right? I slept just fine. What's for lunch? Where's Sylvia? Been a nice. Sylvia's got a modeling gig in the city. Modeling gig? Dude, you're dating a model? I didn't say that earlier. All right, so we are gonna go glass the back side of our port side bulkheads. We've got all the sandwich pieces glued in. It's prepped. Carlos is over there doing the grunt work. Dude, I love Carlos so much. Seriously, he has saved my life. Along with this dude over here. He taught me how to do it. Carlos is helping me execute. And then today is surf day, apparently. How's the surf look? Did Charlie get back to you? How does the surf look? I ask that like I know what I'm talking about. The truth is I have no idea how to surf. The closest I've ever been to surfing was 10 years ago when Mary found this random surfboard on the side of the street in Mexico. How's the surf look? The report says four to six foot, which means you'll probably drown. <laughs> He wasn't too far off. I have watched uh, Jamie. Kelly Slater? No, 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 Jamie something. Jamie O'Brien. I watched two episodes of his vlog. I searched top surfing YouTube channels. I think I'm ready. Wait, Colin I told, says. I told you to watch how to stand up on a surfboard and you watched two pro surfers. Yeah. <laughs> Straight to the top. <laughs> Jankiest ladder ever. It's because of this step right here. See, we go from two to one. So when you step down, that always happens. This is what I do every morning, procrastinate before I do my own boat work. Can I just show you the quality of my ladder? Double rung from bottom all the way to the top because it's one ladder that's been compressed down and doubled up. I got double locky thingies so these never slip. Every time I would go home and come back, my ladder would be gone and replaced by some janky little thing that barely made it to the bottom of the sugar scoops. This one was hidden behind the tool shed. So if you ever come to Linton Bay, go look behind Jim's shed. You'll find this amazing ladder. I've learned my lesson. It is tied on now, but not just there here and also there. I've got the angle of attack at a perfect 72 degrees, which allows me to come down free-handed and also go up, no hands, baby, which means I can carry big pieces of bulkhead. I've got a couple of towels zip tied to the contact point of the gel coat. Basically, this puppy is everything you could ever ask out of a ladder. I love it. Be good, baby. I've decided to work on the forward side of the bulkhead today, which is a little bit smaller because I still need some time to go watch YouTube videos about surfing so I don't look like an idiot out there today. Hola, Carlos. Hola. We've got this side completely installed. So we're basically gonna tab in all of the perimeter of this bulkhead sandwich piece. Tabbing is using fiberglass to connect this piece to the whole piece permanently. All right, Carlos. I think we're ready. Here, let me go get the cameras. What you guys don't see is how many cameras we have to set up to be able to capture the footage in a way that's actually interesting to watch. We could just throw a GoPro in there and do a time lapse, but I've got this GoPro that's gonna do a time lapse for us. This GoPro that's gonna be on my head. The big camera that will set to the side and try not to touch because epoxy does not come off of plastic once it dries. Shall we do another PPE montage or are you sick of those? Please let me know below. Thank you, Carlos. Let's go get dressed upstairs. Look at that view, baby. That's us in a month and a half. Damn zipper. A tiny bit of last minute grinding. That surface has to be completely flat. Otherwise, we'll get little air pockets under that fiberglass and then it doesn't stick. I offer Carlos a full suit every single time he's down there grinding. He says all he needs is a respirator and some gloves. I'm suited up from head to toe and you should be too if you ever work with this stuff. It's horrible for your lungs. And that fiberglass dust does not come out. It stays in there forever and when enough builds up, it causes silicosis or silosis or silicosis. I don't know exactly what it is, but I know it kills you. Nice and smooth. There we go. Let's do a final once over. Clean, clean, all the glass laid out, ready to go. These are the pieces that are gonna be going on the front from top to bottom. These are the pieces that go down the sides and then all down into the hull. All right, Carlos, it's go time, baby.
we're shooting for the consistency of chunky peanut butter, which we use to make a fillet to help bridge the corners so the fiberglass doesn't have to do a 90 degree turn. Some people say the fillet should have a big radius. Others say the smaller the better, like a pencil thickness. We did a bit of both to play it safe. We tried to wet out the fiberglass as much as we could before putting it on the wall. Otherwise, epoxy drips all over the place. This air roller squeezes out air that's trapped under the fiberglass. It's like a tiny rolling pin with grooves. We gotta get that corner into the cabasil. Just mush right into that fillet. I actually prefer using my fingers over the roller because you can feel the air bubbles popping as they pass through the fiberglass. Here's the first huge piece going up. We didn't have a big enough surface to pre-wet them, so we had to roll on the epoxy after it was on the wall. Carlos was up top and I was working on the bottom section and catching all of Carlos's drips with my head. Apparently he knew and tried to warn me, but I didn't know what he was saying, so I just pretended I understood and laughed along. <laughs> <laughs> we got a little swimming pool of epoxy down there, but that's okay. Three layers of tabbing, two layers along the face, all the way up into the ceiling. I think we did it. Woo! Bueno, man. Bueno. I just want to thank Carlos for cleaning. He crushes it with the work, and then he's the one that stays behind. I'm gonna go change now. I'm gonna get my resin-drenched feet out of this suit. Oh no, I don't see the guys. Hopefully I didn't miss surf day. What's up? Is there food left? Yeah, it's packed away, but yeah. Nice. Is this really bad luck? Is it still bad luck if I go through and then I come back? Does it cancel it out? I just have to make sure I go through and back the same amount of times. See or no? See. Is it? Is, oh shoot, fiberglass <laughs> does no. Is it bad luck to go under the ladder in France? Yeah. But what if you go through the ladder and then you come back? It's like bad luck and then good luck? No, two time bad luck. Two time bad luck. <laughs> no, no. I don't accept that. How to pop up on a surfboard. Surfing tutorial, 1.1 million views. Yep. Everything underneath me, my knees, under my chin, turn my head. I'm into my proper surfing. So it's basically like snowboarding on water without bindings. I got it. Plant foot, stand up. How hard could it be? I think I got this. Paddle, chicken wing, push yourself up, kick your other foot forward. That's it. It's so much harder than push up, chicken wing, stand up. It's a bunch of crap. I got washed all the way back into there. It took me 30 minutes to paddle back to the dinghies. Uh, can't even get back in the dinghy. Oh God. I'm no quitter, but I need a break. A lot harder than I thought. On the other downside, there's definitely epoxy in my hair. I learned a couple things yesterday. One, Surfing is hard, man. It is so much harder than they make it look online. And number two, if you're gonna wear a bunny suit, make sure you pull the hood on all the way. What the hell? I can get these small chunks out, but the big ones, oh, they're in there, I can get that. Epoxy resin actually releases some kind of oil as it cures. All night long, I felt my forehead just oily. On the upside, that glass job we did, oh, it's perfect. It's such a satisfying feeling when you go back and look at the glass work and it's completely smooth. You pound on it and it's just solid. If I give you these scissors, can you cut only the epoxy? Cut the epoxy. Only the epoxy. Off your bulk it. No, off my head head. <laughs> <laughs> I just need Holy this part. Fuck. Just the epoxy though. I'm gonna try to save my head. You want me to cut the epoxy out of your hair? Yeah, how else is it gonna, it's not coming out. No coconut oil is gonna get this. Have I'll you touch massaged it? it all? Yeah, I massaged it all Holy night, Holy shit, man. I got done when Jamie dropped the sheet. So Jamie <laughs> dropped that whole sheet of fiberglass on my head that we had already wet out with epoxy. I tried to run my hand through my hair and I've got this massive, <laughs> Rock hard patch. I just googled it and they said the only thing you can do is shave your head. So Sylvia's trying to rub it out with coconut oil. Carlos was rolling on top and I'm underneath air rolling and then it was just like bleh, bleh, bleh. but I was like I'm good because I had the hood on except for when I put on my respirator I lifted the hood up a little bit so then this part was just exposed. Let me get some better scissors. What happened to your foot as well? Surfing dude. <laughs> I 
got messed up on the reef. You're gonna have a bald spot. There's no recovering from this. I promise I'll just cut the epoxy. So what you're gonna be left with is- His hair. That's the biggest one. <laughs> Holy shit, man. <laughs> this is all gonna go, look. All night long, the epoxy was curing and releasing oil. The oil was getting all over my forehead. The aiming blush. Yeah, there you go, aiming blush. That's why we need total boat, not aiming blush <laughs> look epoxy. <at> this. <laughs> man, that is horrendous. We might as well cut this, this fringe off. No, I like my bangs. <laughs> there we go. Come on, bro. <laughs> These look a bit rusty. Woo! Still look like a dream. Man, you look so bad. <laughs> we gotta go shorter. You have to leave it like this. I'm not shaving the sides. Okay, we're leaving it at that. Subscribe. <laughs> 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 that looks like a monk. Look like a freak, dude. Mary's gonna divorce me.